Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, <clears throat> today will be my last gallery uh, live tour for a little while since we're on stay-at-home orders for 30 days. Um, what you can see here is what I'm taking home with me so that we can maybe create online together. So, um, and of course, this doesn't include the rest of my car that's full. Um, so anyway, I, I, I think I have a problem. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. Um, <laughs> and I guess that's good. Um, I will have plenty to do for the next 30 days. And I hope you'll join me in doing those things as well. Um, but since today is my last day in the gallery for a while, um, I, I wanted to make sure that I got uh, a couple of the artists that had um, come into the upcycle uh, show that never happened. And one of those artists is Kathy Ann Tate. And she does these <clears throat> wonderful boxes. Um, and each box has a meaning. Um, and these are things that she's collected um, specifically uh, uh, for them. Um, so let's talk about uh, this one. Um, so this one's called Imagination Run Wild. Uh, the contents of the, the box is completely made of objects found beside or in the road. The all-star tennis shoe was found in a Westport parking lot. The electric cord was found in the middle of the road while walking to the beach in California. The American flag was found on the side of the road while walking in my neighborhood. I want to make sure uh, that everyone understands that the upside down flag is in no respect uh, for the American, it's no disrespect for the American flag. Uh, it was placed upside down in the box to symbolize the polarization of America today. The discarded vintage cabinet and outlet was found on the side of the road uh, awaiting a fall cleanup. And the fly was found in a free basket at Hillcrest Thrift Store. Um, anyway, so again, this is called Imagination Run Wild. So the one right underneath it um, it's called the Family Rocks. And this is really awesome. It's a bit of a mystery. One can only guess the story that they could tell. Made up of vintage flea market finds, the old money drawer was an original label on the back, has an original label on the back uh, dating February 17th, 1954 uh, from the National Cash Register Company. And so you can see it's all about money and the things that we do with money. Some of it good, some of it not so good. And one of the cool things that, um, you know, she, Kathy Ann loves these. She makes these, they're called ready-mades. Um, but I can see a real uh, possibility to do some things on your own at home. I think we all have boxes somewhere and I'm sure that a lot of us are going through old photos and you know some memorabilia family memorabilia and this is a chance to actually put together you know a three-dimensional uh, storyboard of your family uh, your family history um, uh, like a 3D collage um, and it's something that you could keep for a long time all those little discarded things that you know came from your mom or or your dad or or your distant uh, relatives I, I, I think it's a wonderful idea uh, this one's done actually inside of a me medicine cabinet and it's called Sunday Drive um, and you can see that there's a mirror here that we're supposed to look in so there I am Hello. So when you're looking through the mirror, you're taking that Sunday drive. Um, and you can see all through here, the little car on the wheel. And all of these things as well were found, um, you know, are found objects. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in this box. The keys are the keys to happiness. The compass is to find your way. 
The vintage medicine cabinet symbolizes the best medicine, the porcelain bird, our beloved American songbird, and the backdrop is an original watercolor painting uh, from Kathy Ann. So wonderful little box. All right, I'm gonna turn around here and show you a couple of her small boxes. This one's called Wanna Play. And it's made of found objects, organic sticks and twigs, and the grass is made from uh, ground leaves. And this is really actually a very small box, if you can see my hand. So you can make these all different sizes. This one here is called Good Fortune. The idea for Good Fortune came from the American contemporary artist Joseph Cornell. Uh, Cornell often used bubble pipes in his boxes, um, aka ready-mades. Um, she loves and admires Joseph Cornell's work, uh, and when she found a vintage bubble pipe, she had to make her own. So there you go. Oh, and look at the little bird on the top. I love the little bird on the top. So again, these could be really fun projects for you to do at home. Um, memory boxes. You know, this time, uh, it is a memorable time. And it's, it's something that, uh, you know, in the future, doing, doing a project, uh, might be something you can look back on and say, wow, you know, this is what I did during that time. So I want, also want to show you um, a few of these cigar boxes. Um, these are also um, upcycled. And she's done a beautiful job. This artist is um, Marsha Horner. Um, and you can see that all of the boxes open and they're just beautiful. These are great for the top of a man, man's dresser. Um, I love this one. And again, it opens and has everything on the inside. So she's put feet on these and handles and um, here's another one. Uh, beautiful little box, cigar box from Ecuador. So anyway, again, I wanted to highlight some of these artists that would have been showing um, this coming weekend. Um, she also does uh, jewelry um, that's been upcycled, uh, usually from other, you know, from vintage jewelry and then adding um, some modern things to it to bring them kind of current and up to date. Uh, and you can see she finds things and hangs them on the pieces. And let's see if I have any more that are upcycled from Marsha. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of them. Um, but anyway, again, here I am last time, kind of a, kind of a sad, sad day um at the same time uh bringing it all home and trying to stay positive and i've packed my little boxes ready to ready to create at home um it half of it may i may be working out of my car kind of like working out of your uh laundry basket <laughs> anyway um i hope to see you again uh very soon from home um, in the meantime, the gallery is closed for at least our 30 days during the stay at home order. Um, you know, take the order seriously so that we can get this over with as soon as possible. Um, uh, we'll be better off for it in the long run. Remember, just stay home, only go out if it's essential. Um, you know, help us all get through this uh, uh, pretty quick. It's been a pleasure. Talk again soon. Bye.